כאילו עכשיו לפה. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another healthy living video. As you guys know, I love doing these videos and I've realized that a lot of you guys enjoy them as well. Now, one of the questions that I've once received, not once even, a couple of times, what do I keep in my pantry? But I'm giving it a little bit of a twist. In the title below, you can see that this is a what I snack on video. So these are snacks that are healthy, that you can have at any point during the day. You can have it them in, in like around snack time between meals and things like that, that are healthy and good for you. Uh, they provide the correct nutrients and essentially you can eat them without feeling like, oh my God, I'm going to gain a ton of weight or oh my god all the sugar or oh my god all of that jazz so if you would like to see what I keep in my pantry what I snack on throughout the day then definitely do keep watching so I've got a plastic bag right next to me that's got all the snacks that I typically would gravitate towards when I feel like nibbling on something snacking on something and yeah I'm gonna show them to you it's a lot it's a lot. The first thing, which is no surprise to anybody, is a protein bar. Now, my favorite ones are the Future Life ones, and this is a high protein bar. It's a smart bar with L glutamine and 19 amino acids. This is great for in between snacking. So, I would typically have this around the 10 o'clock mark if I feel like I'm craving something sweet. And because I really eat chocolates anymore. You know, there's sometimes when you want a chocolate, you want a chocolate because it gives that satisfaction, right? It's just the sugar rush, right? But these protein bars are really, really great. I also love the Quest ones, which you can find at Discam. They're quite pricey. That protein bar is around 40 Rand per protein bar, whereas this one is around 14 Rand. So this is really, really good. And uh, my favorite flavors are the strawberry chocolate one and the chocolate crunch one. And then next out is this, and this is popcorn. This is microwavable popcorn. I am a big fan of popcorn. So if, if I don't, um, if I feel like having chips, like amazimba, crisps, if I feel like having crisps, I'll definitely, definitely rather have popcorn as compared to having Simba chips. It's healthier, it's better for you, and I'll take maybe about mm, three to four handfuls of popcorn and I'll have that in my snacking time and that's probably somewhere around popcorn. I, I won't snack on at 10 in the morning, I'll probably snack on popcorn at mm, three, four in the afternoon and they're really, really good. So I'll warm these up and then put them in a packet and take them with me to work and around three, four, I will have this I'll munch on these and they're really really good it's easy you pop it into the microwave you for like three minutes and then you're done another great snack that I had to pull out I use this for snacking on this is an avocado avocados as you know have the healthy fats you are supposed to have fats in your system you can eat fats Avocados have healthy fats, which are really, really good for you. Um, I typically add avocados to my food, as you guys know in the video before with the quinoa bowl. I love to add uh, avocados to my quinoa bowl, but at the same time, I like to have like a slice of low GI bread. I'll cut up an avocado or uh, what's a smash it onto the bread, add a little bit of pepper and I'm done. I can even do a video of uh, the snacks, me preparing the snacks for you. If you'd like to see that video, let me know and then I'll do that for you. But avocados are also great for snacking on. Even if you just want the avocado, sometimes you just want the avocado. That's fine as well. Then we're going to move into the nut family. So my favorite kinds of nuts are cashew nuts, which I've got here, and walnuts, which I have here. They're really great. Walnuts, cashew nuts are great when they are added to plain yogurt. They're really, really good. For some odd reason, I seem to enjoy walnuts and cashew nuts with yogurt. So what I would do is um, maybe four tablespoons. Let me put this down. Hang on, okay. So what I would do is maybe four tablespoons of yogurt and then add a handful of either walnuts or cashew nuts or mix them together and then um, drizzle on some honey on top and I'm done. 
maybe chia seeds and I'm done and that's a great snack it's filling nuts are great because they also have the healthy fats which are good for you and it's also filling at the same time so it'll hold you off really really well until your next meal yeah what another great snack is dried fruits these are prunes and these are cranberries dried cranberries you can have um, you can have them uh, what's this is it baked cranberries or sun something something cranberries or just just cranberries and prunes or raisins I put them into a small little scuffed yana and then I carry that scuffed yana with me and then around snack time I snack on those with the nuts maybe depends on how I feel that day and I enjoy them I also add cranberries to my oats my breakfast I love to add cranberries to my breakfast as well it really really gives the breakfast a nice kick cranberries are not too sweet they're a little bit on the savory side which I actually kind of enjoy and they're really really good uh, I tend to buy small packs of these because I don't go through them as quickly and these things are fucking expensive much like the nuts dried fruits are also actually quite pricey nuts are really expensive prunes are really really good because they work as a natural laxative so if you want to yeah, bon. If you feel like you haven't, your bowels are not working correctly, or you feel like you haven't been, you know, to do the number, uh, then you can eat prunes, and they work really, really well as to cleaning up your system and detoxing it. Prune juice is also good; it works the same way. Very, very good as well. And another. By far my favorite fruit. I love bananas. My sister hates bananas, like with a passion. She doesn't like them, much like she doesn't like avocados. I don't know what planet she dropped from because these are two of faves for quite a lot of people. But bananas, really, really great. I love bananas on peanut butter and, uh, what's this, loji eye bread. It's delicious. But recently, I've actually tried almond butter. Oh my God. It is so, 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 so good. It's in my fridge. I forgot to bring it. I'm sorry, but I'll put up a picture some way so that you can see what kind of almond butter I use. Almond butter is freaking expensive because it is nuts. So you can get away with spending for a jar, maybe yay high, you can get away with spending around 80 Rand for almond butter. Very, very expensive. So I don't use it as much but it sits in the fridge and it lasts a long time when it's in the fridge. I love to take um, like a slice of loji eye toast or rye bread or seeded bread and I toast it up and then I take the almond butter, smear it on and then chop these up, put them on the almond butter there on the toast and then chia seeds and then eat. My favorite snack. Recently, I've been eating that a lot. Great also to add to yogurts. Play around with your food. Great to add it to oats in the morning and then add a little bit of cinnamon. Banana and cinnamon. Bona. Same WhatsApp group. They are so, 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 so good together. Delicious, delicious. These are added snacks. This is what you would add to something. If not, they, they, they're essentially add-ons. So you can add it onto oats. You can add it onto, you can have them just as they are, just in a bowl. You can have the blueberries and what are these? Raspberries and pomegranate seeds. These I've been loving. If you follow me on social media, you'll notice that in the mornings when I have oats, I love to add pomegranate seeds to my oats with some cinnamon and a little bit of almond milk or just normal milk. Bona. Drizzle on some honey. Bona. They've got a really, really nice crunch to them. They are delicious. I absolutely love them. It sucks because berries are also quite pricey. I mean, for this, it'll set you back around 40 bucks as well as this would. But they're really good. You just, you, you don't have to, well, let's come up with that. Let's come up with that. Just be nice about it. And it'll last you pretty much a week because I do a weekly shop of all my fruits and vegetables. So it'll last you a week and then Saturday, Sunday, just go out Ganani and buy another fresh pack. But these, really, really good to snack on. They're delicious. But there are days where you feel like having something sweet. And I get it. And I've got you. I got you covered. Got you covered. So here's another pack of 10. These are <clears throat> almond and fruit multi-packs. Essentially, that's what they look like. So it is a fruit. It is a fruit. It is nuts and seeds and dried fruits mixed together in like some sort of uh, yogurt it's not like chocolate 
but it tastes like white chocolate. It is so delicious. Man, I can, these I have all the time. Whether they're really good for me is, is up for debate. However, I have them all the time and they are delicious. They're absolutely good. They're really, really, really good. And it's something that you should definitely try out. They're delicious. They range for a pack of 10 ranges for about 75 Rand, but they are so good. They're so yummy and they're great for a snack time. And that's it. That's it. That's all I'm going to share with you today. I brought my kitchen up. Uh, another thing. This is where we live. This is where we'll always be at. Water is so important for us. So definitely make sure that you keep trying to increase. Is that the sun? Woo! Definitely make sure that you keep trying to increase your water intake. But yeah, that's it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on what to snack on. This is essentially my pantry slash fridge upstairs here for you guys so that you can see what I eat and snack on to just keep eating healthy and stay away from the bad stuff. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, and if you'd like to see something else in the healthy... <laughs> In the healthy living series then definitely let me know don't forget to click subscribe like comment i love to interact with you guys and then i'll see you soon so sayonara bye